time. It's something we all experience, but rarely stop to question. We measure it, schedule our lives around it, and often feel it slipping away. Before we dive into this mind-bending concept, let's take a moment to think about how we normally perceive time. We see it as a river, constantly flowing from the past, through the present and into the future. But what if time doesn't flow at all? All right, let's break down what the block universe theory is all about. The block universe theory suggests that the past, present and future all exist simultaneously. Imagine the universe as a giant block of space-time where every event that has ever happened or will ever happen is fixed in this block. In this view, time doesn't flow like a river. Instead, it's just another dimension, much like the dimensions of space. This block has four dimensions, three spatial dimensions, length, width and height, and one temporal dimension, which is time. Think of it as a giant cuboid filled with every event that has ever occurred. At one end of this cuboid, you have the Big Bang, and at the other end, you have the very last moment of the universe. Every moment of your life, from your birth to your death, exists somewhere in this block. So, how does this compare to Einstein's theory of relativity? Einstein's theory of relativity revolutionized our understanding of space and time by showing that they are interconnected in a single continuum known as space-time. According to relativity, there is no absolute now. The concept of the present is relative depending on your frame of reference. This idea supports the block universe theory where the past, present and future are equally real and coexist in the space-time continuum. In the block universe theory, time is viewed as a dimension rather than a flow. This means that time is seen as being similar to the three spatial dimensions we're familiar with. Imagine time as a direction you can move through, just like you can move left, right, up, or down in space. In this view, events don't happen and then fade into the past. Instead, all events, past, present, and future, exist simultaneously at different points along the time dimension. The concept of relativity of simultaneity is crucial to understanding the block universe theory. Einstein's theory of relativity showed us that the idea of now isn't as simple as we thought. What's happening now for you might be in the past or future for someone else, depending on their position and motion relative to you. This means that there's no universal present moment that everyone in the universe shares. In the block universe, there's no special status given to the present moment. If all moments in time exist equally in this four-dimensional block, then the moment you call now isn't fundamentally different from any other moment. Your experience of the present is just your consciousness moving along your timeline in the block universe. From this perspective, the past and future are just as real as the present. They're simply at different coordinates in the time dimension. The block universe theory offers an intriguing perspective on time travel paradoxes. In a block universe, time travel paradoxes like the grandfather paradox become less problematic. If all moments exist simultaneously, you can't change the past because it's already part of the block. Any action you take in the past would have always been part of the timeline. This leads to the concept of predestination. In a block universe, the future is as fixed as the past. Your future actions are already there in the block, just as your past actions are. This doesn't mean you can't make choices, but rather that your choices are already part of the fabric of space-time. The block universe theory is deeply rooted in Einstein's theory of relativity. Einstein's theory of relativity fundamentally changed our understanding of space and time. According to relativity, space and time are intertwined in a four-dimensional continuum known as space-time. This means that time is not separate from space, 
but is another dimension that, together with the three spatial dimensions, forms the fabric of the universe. One of the key insights from relativity is the relativity of simultaneity. This concept tells us that what one observer considers to be happening now might be in the past or future for another observer, depending on their relative motion. This idea supports the notion of a block universe, where all points in time exist equally and simultaneously. While Einstein's work laid the groundwork, the block universe theory remains a topic of debate among physicists today. Some, like physicist Lee Smolin, argue against the block universe, suggesting that the passage of time is a fundamental aspect of reality and that the future is not yet determined. Others, however, support the block universe view, seeing it as a logical extension of relativity. The block universe theory isn't the only game in town. Several competing theories offer different perspectives on the nature of time. One notable alternative is the growing block universe theory. In this view, the past and present exist, but the future does not. The universe is like a block that grows as time progresses, adding new slices of reality. This theory maintains some aspects of our intuitive sense of time passing while avoiding the determinism of the block universe. Another competing theory is presentism, which posits that only the present moment is real. According to presentism, the past no longer exists and the future is yet to come. This view aligns more closely with our everyday experience of time but struggles to reconcile with the relativistic framework of modern physics. One major philosophical challenge is the question of free will. If the future is already fixed in the block universe, it seems to imply that our choices are predetermined. This raises uncomfortable questions about our autonomy and moral responsibility. Critics argue that this deterministic view undermines the very concept of free will. Additionally, some philosophers argue that the block universe theory fails to account for the subjective experience of time. We perceive time as flowing, with a distinct past, present and future. The block universe, with its static view of time, seems to contradict this fundamental aspect of human experience. Despite these challenges, some proponents of the block universe theory attempt to reconcile it with our lived experience. Philosopher Jenan Ismael suggests that our experience of time's flow can be understood within the block universe framework. She argues that our consciousness moves along our world line in the block universe, creating the sensation of time passing. This view integrates our subjective experience with the static nature of the block universe. Moreover, studies in cognitive science and psychology indicate that our perception of time is deeply tied to our mental processes. By framing our first-person experience within the static block of space-time, we can begin to understand how the flow of time emerges from the way our brains process information. Imagine your entire life as a long, thin book. Each page represents a moment in time. Now stack all these books from everyone who has ever lived or will live side by side. This massive library is the block universe. Another way to picture it is to think of the universe as a giant film reel. Each frame of the film represents a moment in time. While we experience life as the film playing in reality, all the frames exist simultaneously on the reel. The block universe theory, if true, would have profound implications for how we view our lives and choices. In a block universe, your future actions are as fixed as your past ones. This might seem to challenge the idea of free will. However, it doesn't necessarily mean your choices don't matter. Your decisions are still yours, even if they're already part of the block. Consider how this perspective might change your approach to regret or anxiety. If all moments exist equally, dwelling on past mistakes or worrying about future events might seem less significant. Each moment, including your current experience, is an equally real part of the block universe. 
The Bloch universe theory might also influence how we think about personal growth and change. Rather than seeing ourselves as entities that progress through time, we could view our lives as complete four-dimensional objects with different cross-sections representing various stages of our existence. 